Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Night Wolf 37 coming at you, and today we're going to go through the things that you're going to need and the steps to building yourself an economical snake enclosure. What we're seeing right here is the finished product. Let's figure out how to get there. First and foremost, a list of the items that we're going to need. First thing you're going to need will be a tub, of course. This one in particular is 50 quarts. It is 32 by 19 by 7 inches, so it does have ample room and it is a decent size. Secondly, you're going to need a heat source. I use Undertake Heat Pads by Zoomed. This one here is rated for 10 to 20 gallon aquariums. Unfortunately, they're not designed to stick to plastic. They're designed for glass. So as you can see, you're going to need some duct tape around the edges to help keep that attached to your enclosure. Now, we're also going to need a hide for your animal. Water dish, of course. And this little branch here, I like to use this as other things inside the enclosure that the snake can rub up against during shedding. That'll help in the shedding process. And also if the snake wants to use that to sit up on and perch, you can do that as well. Okay. Of course, you're going to need some type of measuring device for your temperature and your humidity. This particular unit is digital and it does both. Soldering iron. Not a necessity, but it will speed things up for you and make it a lot neater. Zip tire 2, Sharpie pen, duct tape, utility scissors, substrate of course. If you're using a drill and a drill bit, you'll need that. And optional items cotter pins. We'll get to those later. First thing you want to do, which I've already done, is secure your under tank pad to the enclosure. Next thing I do is I mark off the holes that I want to make for my air vents. Also I mark off the holes so that I can mount the gauge for my digital meter on the outside of the enclosure so I don't have to open it up to see what's going on on the inside. After you've got that marked off, you want to use a soldering iron and just poke those holes through. You don't need to measure them. It doesn't have to be exact. You can eyeball it and get it pretty neat. After that, the optional items that I've added is the cotter pins. Not necessarily to help keep the snake in, but to help to keep little ones out. So using a small drill bit, drill a hole through the top itself and down into the side of the bin and that add extra security for little prying fingers that can easily get these other snap tabs off. These two enclosures are going to be meant for a ghost corn snake and the other one is going to be for a Mexican black king snake. They'll be arriving tomorrow and as soon as I get those we'll put up another video so everybody can see what they look like. You got any questions, leave a comment on my page. See you guys next time.